name is Deanna and I'm a woman's health nurse practitioner. Welcome back to the ladies guide. Welcome to those who are new. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Comment below any topics you want me to cover in future videos. Also, you can check me out at my Instagram. It's at underscore the ladies guide. I love interacting with you on there as well. And I enjoy sharing different um, tidbits of information with mind, body, soul, and mind, and how that interacts with our health. So today's video is actually going to be talking about the idea that PMS, cramping, headaches, heavy periods, irregular periods, everything you've been told as a female that is normal to experience is actually really not normal. So if you're interested in hearing more, keep watching. So the deal, every one of you who is a female has probably had this notion that having those kinds of symptoms are just a normal part of being a woman, that it runs in your family, that your mother, sister, aunt has also experienced the same bit of symptoms, so that's just kind of what you're doomed for. Even PCOS fits in this category, which I'll link below other videos that I've talked about PCOS and ways to cure that naturally, but this idea that the, all of these troublesome symptoms are normal is really not true. It's not. And there's absolutely things that could be done to help minimize these symptoms so that you're no longer experiencing these painful, dreadful monthly cycles. So actually, these symptoms are a way that your body is communicating with you to tell you that something going on in the body is not really working optimally, and there's ways that can help promote that to that, that you are um, cycling in a, in a better way, that your hormones have a nice fluctuation that is more in tune with the body and not going through um, very deep fluctuations where it's very up and down, which usually in, leads to a lot of these symptoms that are going on. So rather than feel like you're doomed, like birth control is the only option and maybe you're out there and you've had a bad experience with birth control, hormonal birth control in particular, and are just like, I don't want to have to go through that. Like, is that my only option? I'm here to tell you it's not the only option. So quick things to keep in mind, and I'll definitely dive further into this. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you want to hear more um, videos about this topic because it's so much that we can go into. But the big things that you really want to be mindful of that could really create a complete shift in how your hormones are functioning in the body is the foods that you're eating, that you're really trying to stick with whole foods. Taking a look at like what your diet has been like over the past few days. Is that a reflection of how you normally eat? Maybe you know, you've know you had a holiday weekend where you kind of fell off a little bit and you're kind of aware of that, but just really tuning into that. Also like your liquid intake, are you drinking a lot of sugary drinks, caffeine, alcohol? All of this impacts the way our hormones are fluctuating throughout the month. So that is number one. When we're fueling our bodies with the right foods and mainly water, then the rest of our organs can work the way that they're supposed to and use the hormones the way they're supposed to use them, have them broken down the way they're supposed to, so that then everything works in a beautiful way, that it just flows. If it's not flowing, you're going to end up with these very bothersome symptoms. Other things that are really key in this is that we are balancing our sugar. So, you know, most of us eat in a way, you know, if we're not really mindful where our sugar is kind of going up and down, it's spiking and crashing, and that is going to lead to mood fluctuations, acne, inflammation in the body. So keying into that, and that is a whole other video in itself. So I'm not going to get too in depth in that, but it's not just sugar, like straight up sugar, like sweets ice cream that could be the culprit. A lot of times it is really the hidden things, white processed foods, white bread, white flour, white pasta, white rice, all of that actually does convert into sugar once it's processed through the body. So definitely something to keep in mind. The other key factors is that you're eating in a way to help heal your gut and to help um, promote liver detoxification. That's what your liver is meant to do, but a lot of times if it's been overworked with the foods that we're eating or not eating, our liver's not working in the most optimal way. And then our hormones that are not supposed to particularly stay in the body, particularly estrogen, 
doesn't get broken down the way it's supposed to. It stays in the body longer, and this a lot of times leads to something called estrogen dominance, which causes a lot of the symptoms that I just went into, painful periods, heavy periods, um, mood swings, facial hair along the jawline, a lot of the PCOS symptoms that we think about is usually linked with an estrogen dominance issue as well. So these are all ways that can absolutely help resolve your symptoms so that you're no longer feeling like this is just something you have to deal with for the rest of your life. I'm here to tell you it's absolutely not. Um, head over to my Instagram for more tidbits of information there and comment below if you want me to go into more depth of, of these topics. Because again, like I said, it's so much. This is just an overview to remind you that you have absolute control of your body. No one else does. You don't have to be dependent on medication or feel like there's absolutely no answer because there is. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, again, check me out at my Instagram, at underscore the ladies guide. Love hearing from you and interacting with you ladies. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.